In this video, we want to find the derivative of y with respect to x denoted by dy over dx. And this can also be denoted as y prime. And that's what I'm going to do for these expressions. So for the first one, I have y equal 3 cosine of 3x plus 1. These are just some miscellaneous derivatives here. So the first one is the derivative, and it's the derivative of cosine. The three is constant, so I can just take the derivative of cosine, and that'll give me a minus sign. And then the angle, whatever it is, in this case, 3x plus 1. And then using the chain rule, we take the derivative of 3x plus 1, which will give us a 3. And then we just simplify this. 3, I got a negative 1 here, and a 3, so this would be a negative 9. And that's multiplied by the sine of 3x plus 1. So that's the result for that one. Now for the second one, we have y x multiplied by sine of x squared. So here we have two functions of x. We have to use the product rule here. So this will be y prime. And we'll take the first expression, x. And then that's multiplied by the derivative of the second function. The derivative of sine is cosine, in this case of x squared. And then again, we have to use a chain rule here. We have x squared, so the derivative of x squared is 2x. Put that out in front. And then it's plus the second function. So that's sine of x squared times the derivative of the first. Well, the derivative of x is 1. So we get that. And then we just simplify this a little bit. We got 2x there and times x, so this will be a 2x squared. And then we have a cosine of x squared. I'll go ahead and put in parentheses. Don't don't have to do that, but I'll put it in parentheses just to make it more clear. And then it's plus sine of x squared. So again, the derivative of the second one is 2x squared times cosine of x squared plus the sine of x squared. And that's the answer for that one. Now for the third one, we have y equal to sine of x over x squared. So this one involves a derivative of a fraction involving two functions. So in this one, we have to use the quotient rule. So for the quotient rule, you start off by squaring whatever's in the denominator. So you've got x squared, and then you square it. That's x to the fourth. And then it's the denominator, the original denominator, not the x, x to the fourth, but the x squared times the derivative of the numerator. The derivative of the numerator cosine of x is cosine of x. And then it's minus Again, the original numerator, sine of x, times the derivative of the denominator, the original one. So that's going to be derivative, derivative of x squared is 2x. A uh, little bit of simplification here. We got then got the x squared, cosine of x, minus, I'll put the 2x out in front of this sign here, 2x. And then we got sine of x, and that's over x to the fourth. And then we can simplify this further here. We've got an x squared here, we got an x here, so we can factor out an x from the numerator and cancel one of the x's in the uh, denominator. So the denominator then will be x to the third. And then we'll have an x here instead of x squared because one of the x's cancelled there. So we get x cosine of x. And then this x cancelled, give me uh, left me with a minus 2 there, sine of x. So this simplifies in the uh, Derivative simplifies to x cosine of x minus 2 sine of x over x cubed. Okay, for number 4, so we have y prime here, and we have tangent here. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So that's secant squared, and this one is arc sine of x. And then we have to use a chain rule here. So derivative tangent is secant, but now we have to take the derivative arc sine. And that gives us just the formula. If we looked at that formula before, it's uh, 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared. Here the u is x, so it's 1 minus x squared. And then it's times the derivative of u. In this case, it's x. So that gives me with a 1. And we got that. So we get this answer right here. Use the appropriate formulas. Derivative of tangent is secant squared. 
and then because uh, we have this in the parentheses here, function of this expression, we have to use a chain rule. We take the derivative of arc sine, which is right here. That's the derivative. But you can first simplify this further. So if you're working this type of problem from a textbook and you look the uh, and you got the answer in the back and you check it out, well, it doesn't come out to this. Let's simplify this then. Arc of sine of x means this represents the angle whose sine is x. So we can draw a tri diagram of that. And let's call the angle theta here. This is again the right reference triangle. And it's the sign the sign of the angle is x. So I mean this if this is x then the hypotenuse here has to be one. Again when you write this arc sine, this means the angle this represents the angle whose sine is one. I'm sorry, whose sine is x. If I complete the triangle then this is this side would be one square root of one minus x squared. Same sort of thing you, you do when you're evaluating an integral using a trigonometric substitution. So now we can look at this and say, okay, what is what is the secant? See, we have this right here. Let's simplify this. What is the secant of that angle? Secant is hypotenuse over the adjacent. So from this one here, this one would be one over square root of one minus x squared. This is squared here, secant squared. And then we have the one over the square root of one minus x squared. So if I square this right here, square one is gonna be one. And the square of this radical right here is gonna be one minus x squared. And I got the one over the square root of one minus x squared. You, you can look at this as one minus x squared to the first power here. What? That's to the first power. And this is one minus x squared to the, it's the square root, so it'll be one half power. So I can actually simplify this by just simply bringing down the base and adding the exponents. So this would be one minus, and I guess I gotta rewrite this. This is uh, in the denominator. So the answer to this then, I multiply the numerators, this is a one, multiply the denominators out, bring down the base, this is an exponent of one, and this has an exponent of one half. This will be one minus x squared to the three halves power. One over one minus x squared in parentheses, and that's taken to the three halves power. Okay, let's go to the last one here. And let me rewrite this. At y equal to natural log of sine squared of x. So this is this is the same thing as, as having the exponent out here. For these functions, I can put it in here, or I could put the whole thing in parentheses and put the power over here. So using uh, log x of uh, logarithms, I can write this as two natural log of sine of x. I haven't taken the uh, derivative yet, but now I take the derivative. This would be y prime then, would equal to, since this is constant, I can just focus on this part right here. The derivative of the natural log constant stays out here. It's simply going to be whatever is we have here, which is sine of x. That'll go in the denominator. And in the numerator, it'll just be the derivative of sine of x, which is cosine of x. And we could simplify this further and say this is going to be 2. 2 identity, cosine of x over sine of x. That's your cotangent of x. So that's the final derivative for this video here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.